You're not in this thing by yourself. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sermon at 7, your daily dose of inspiration and the place where we prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that it's possible to receive a mighty word from God in a short period of time. I'm your host, Pastor Tim. Listen, of all the promises that we can get from God, one of the best ones that we can have is the assurance that no matter what we go through, we are never by ourselves. And I don't know how you feel, but I'm glad about that. I'm going to expand on that idea a little bit more in a moment. But before I do, let me take a moment to say that this is video number four in a series of videos around the topic, the promises of God. So if this is the first video that you're seeing, understand that there are three other videos that go along with this one. Take a moment to watch those as well because they form a powerful idea that's designed to increase your faith. And also, take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell and help me spread this gospel message here on the internet. Now, let's go to the Word of God, which is coming from the book of Exodus, chapter number 3, verses 10 through 12. Let's go there now. And the Word of God says this, So now, go. I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I'll be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you've brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Now here in this passage of scripture, Moses displays what we all display when God has given us a task that we know is beyond us. Am I the best person to be sent for this particular job? Think about it. Israel Israel has been enslaved for over 400 years. Pharaoh was the mightiest king on the planet at that time, or one of the most powerful kings, I should say, at that particular time. And you've been tasked to go to this man and tell him to let them go. <laughs> that's a tall. That's a tall order. The other thing that Moses is thinking about is these people don't know me. Why why would they even believe that you've sent me? That's the idea. God has given us a task. The task is beyond us. But he says something to Moses and to us that's been designed to give us the courage and the confidence to go. When Moses raised his objection, God simply told him this, just go and I'll be with you. Left it right there. Didn't tell him, I'm going to bring about all these plagues in Egypt. Didn't tell him everything that was going to happen in the future. He just simply told Moses, go and I'll be with you. You know what, brothers and sisters? God says the same thing to you and I when he sends us. Just go and I'll be with you. And that promise of being with us is what we really need. Because when God tells us that he's going to be with us, that means that anything that comes up, that's beyond us. Any issue that we cannot handle, God is there. That's why he's told us that. When we face opposition, we have confidence because before we left on this journey, God said that he was with us. Now understand something. The fact that God is with us does not negate the challenges that we'll have. The fact that God is with us doesn't mean that people won't come against us and stand against us and that times won't be tough. None of those things are true. We understand that we're going to have to face all kinds of things, but we have the promise of God that he is with us, all right? Now, the promise is meant to keep us focused when those things occur because sometimes what you see with your eyes can cause you to get caught up. That's why the Bible says that we live by faith and not by sight, all right? The things that we see can unnerve us. And if you focus more on those things that you see, you'll become unnerved. This is why God speaks to us first before we go. And when the situations arise, we're supposed to fall back on what he said before we came on this journey. So people get in our face and they threaten us. If you continue to do what you're doing, I'm going to create problems in your life. And that might be true. They may create problems in your life. But before that person said that, what did God say? I'm with you. When the finances get low or you seemingly don't have all of the resources that you need in order to get the job done, that's what happens. 
But before the finances run low and the resources become scarce, what did God say previously? I'm with you. Everything has been designed to keep you calm. That word that he gave you, that he's with you, or that promise, I should say, that he gave you, it's been designed to keep you calm when those things occur. Now understand something. Moses knew what he was being asked to do. He didn't want to go, and I understand why. But you know what? The only way to find out if God is really going to be with you is to go. You've got to go. You've got to step out and see if God will do what he said. You've got to step out and see if God is who he claims to be. You've got to step out and see if God is as faithful as other people has told me that he has been. Because let me tell you something, it doesn't matter what Pastor Tim tells you, it doesn't matter what some other preacher tells you, it doesn't matter what your friends tell you, anybody else who knows God, the only way for you to know if God is with you, as he said, you got to step out. You got to go where he's called you to go and watch him do what he said that he was going to do. Moses went to Egypt because God sent him there, but he found out just how much God was with him <laughs> when things got tough. When God began to perform those miracles in Egypt, let me tell you something. Moses, beyond the shadow of a doubt, knew that God was with him. That's why at the banks of the Red Sea, he was able to tell Israel, listen, the Egyptians you see today, after today, you won't see him again. Why? Because God has been with me from the time that he sent me over here. And if I've already seen the things that he's done in the past, I know he's going to be with us right now. Amen goes right there. Listen, everybody, I'm all out of time for this particular video. So as I said what I started, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and feel free to share it with somebody else that needs to have some assurance that God is with them. Also, check out one of my other videos that I have on my channel. I talk about a lot of things, and I know that there's something there that will either encourage you or make you laugh, because I love to laugh as we learn. Now, go ahead and have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you real soon. God bless you.